San Bruno, a seemingly sleepy bedroom community of 39,000, 15 miles south of big, bustling San Francisco, cozily wedged between South San Francisco to the north and Millbrae to the south. As we stand on the site of the future staff-proposed San Bruno Library Rooftop Cafe, we get a bird's-eye view of the area around San Bruno Library. To the east, you can see the San Francisco International Airport and Highway 101. To the north is Highway 380 and San Bruno Avenue, the main connecting routes between Highway 101 and Highway 280 to the west. The San Bruno Library is just minutes away from these main traffic arteries of the San Mateo County Peninsula. The city of San Bruno has a diverse ethnic population, which is reflected in a wide variety of food shops and restaurants. These may be found particularly along San Bruno's main thoroughfare, picturesque San Mateo Avenue. The great names in American dining are also well represented in our town. Yes, this happy hamlet harbors many treasures and foremost among them is the San Bruno Library. San Bruno Public Library was built in 1954 on the corner of El Camino Real and Angus Avenue on the north end of the City Hall complex. There are two main entrances, one off Angus Avenue and the other off the patio, which connects the library with City Hall. The staff entrance is located on the west side of the building on Linden Avenue, adjacent to the library dumpster. Because most of San Bruno's public buildings share this block, parking is limited to street parking around the buildings and can be a challenging pastime for library staff and visitors. As we enter the lobby from the patio, you see directly ahead of you the reference desk. This is our head of reference, the lovely Pat Harding, who will take us on a tour and point out the main attractions of the San Bruno Library. San Bruno is one of the first libraries in the Peninsula Library System to have online public access catalogs. It's very rewarding to help our patrons acquire the new skill of using them. Some of our most popular collections are AV materials. We also have a large collection of books on tape. One of the main attractions of our library is the collection of paintings by William Hubachek, which are on permanent display here. Another of our larger collections is housed in our rare book room, located in the former phone booth, under the stairs, next to the custodian's closet. The circulation desk is tucked into a cozy corner opposite our fiction and new book collections. Mary Ann Dornless, the head of circulation, is helping a patron at this time, but is often called upon to answer for anything that other lady has told patrons. And this is our library director and spiritual leader, Terry Jackson, in her large, impressive office, conveniently located just a few feet away from the public restroom. Further down the hall, our spacious workroom lends itself to furthering staff closeness and camaraderie. Our children's room is an action-packed hub of activity, presided over by our children's librarian, Jojo Hilliard, with infinite patience. Some children fall head over heels for our library. We are just in time to observe a visit by a kindergarten class from El Crystal School. We hope their introduction to the library will be the beginning of a lifelong love of reading, libraries, and library staff. This concludes our tour of the San Bruno Library. 
We hope you enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing you in person soon. Say goodbye, kids.